Today we're covering how you can use the pandas explode function through a few different examples. This is when you have multiple values within a single column and then you can turn them into multiple rows. That way you can apply pivots, you can start querying or also filtering your data frame a lot easier. I'm gonna jump on my computer right now and let's start coding. Okay, so I have this Jupyter notebook open. The first thing I'm gonna do is always import pandas. So easiest way to do that, import pandas as pd shift and enter. So now we have pandas ported. Next, I already pre-built a data frame over here and I'll kind of explain how this works, uh, but I'm just gonna copy and paste it. So over here, uh, just in case I make any errors. And then I'm just gonna do a df.head. So df.head and we'll do 10 on this one. So this is how it works. Um, one of my hobbies is collecting sports cards. I really enjoy it. So I have some cards over here. So we have a 1971, I should have probably put tops, but 1971 tops, Nolan Ryan. 1928 Ogden, Don Bradman, T206 Ty Cobb, 1887 Lone Jack, uh, Ben Franklin, and then also a 2005 Tops Justin Verlander. And then on this right, I have a properties column. Uh, so these are just some of the different few properties that are associated with the card. So example, Nolan Ryan is a baseball player. It's considered a vintage card from 1971. And Nolan Ryan's a pitcher. Uh, we have Donald Bradman over here, who's a cricket player, and the card is from 1928, which is considered a pre-war Ty Cobb, baseball pre-war batter, Ben Franklin, non-sports pre-war, and then Verlander, baseball modern and pitcher. And I could have easily expanded this out or added more, uh, but this will be adequate enough. Now, the example, what we're gonna be using explode for is I wanna make each of these a separate row. So you can see right now, this is difficult to query, right? We have baseball comma, vintage comma, pitcher comma, um, but exploding this out makes it much, much easier. So here's how you do it, right? Um, and I'll give you an example first. And before we uh, reassign it to a data frame, I'm just gonna put over here, df.explode. And then what you wanna do is throw in the specific column. So I'm just gonna throw in properties, right? So we're gonna copy that and make sure you have single quotes. And then if you see this, right? 1971 Nolan Ryan. Now there's three rows associated with it, right? Baseball, vintage pitcher, Bradman, cricket, pre-war, Cobb, baseball, pre-war, batter, Lone Jack, non-sports, pre-war, and then Verlander, baseball, modern pitcher, which is really nice. So all you have to do to assign this to a data frame is just go over here and just do df equals df.explode, right? So now we have this over here and just to show you again, it works, right? df.head, and we can just do like 10, I think there's less than 10, and um, actually there's a little bit more, but we'll just put 15 here. And you can see how this has been fully expanded out. So here's a few calculations that you could do now that this is expanded out in comparison to where this was over here. Uh, so the first thing, right, let's count the number of pre-war cards. So all you have to do is DF, right, and then we'll do properties like this. And then you can do dot value counts. And then over here, just put in pre-war, and I think it's capital P I put over here, space war, just like this. And what this does, value counts, it's gonna count how many times pre-war is in this properties, right? So three times, and just to confirm that, right, we have pre-war right here for the Don Bradman, the T206, and the 1887 Lone Jack. Let's remove some of these. Now, like, let's say you wanted to filter only for the baseball cards, really easy, and I have a full video on queries, right? You can just do a df.query, and you can put over here, properties equal equal and then in double quotes you can just put baseball and we're going to put a capital b on this one you shift and enter and take a look 1971 nolan ryan t206 cobb in 2005 justin verlander all shows up again much easier than querying this over here and the last thing i wanted to show you guys too is that you can create a pivot table from this so we're going to do a few different things and what a pivot table is going to allow you to do is show these properties and count them. So kind of like this, uh, but for each of these specific properties, which is pretty powerful, right? So I don't have a pivot video yet on the channel and I definitely will in the future. So all you have to do is df.pivot table like this, right? And first we're gonna take a look at the index, which is what we're gonna be counting. So we're gonna do index equals, and we're gonna put properties, properties like this, right? 
Next, we're gonna count our values. So we're gonna count over here uh, the card. So all you have to do is values equal card, just like that. And then we're gonna talk about our aggregate function. So I just wanna have a count. So ag func like this, and then put equals count. And then I'm gonna do a few other things as well. So I'm gonna reset the index because we're gonna completely update this data frame. So you can reset index like that. And then I'm gonna rename. So rename and I've done renaming a few different times on the channel. Again, no full video yet, uh, but all you have to do is columns equal. And instead of card showing up for values, I just want to have as, as count. So or card count. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to vote here card. And then I'm going to put card count. Um, but I do need to put single quotes on these because I did forget that. So make sure you put that there. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. Again, how this works dot rename. We're telling we're going to rename columns. When there's card, which is going to be the values over here, I'm just going to put this as card counts. And then I just want to sort values. So sort values, which is quite a lot when you're using like group buys and, uh, and doing interview questions. So what I'm going to do is sort this card counts, which we just defined over here. And I'm just going to put ascending equals false because I want whatever is the highest to show at the top. So hopefully this all works and I have no bugs over here. I know this is kind of messy. It's a longer piece of code for one line, um, but you can see over here properties, right? Baseball, pre-war, pitcher, batter, cricket, modern, non-sports, vintage, and then card count three, three, two, one, 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 all across the board. Hope you learned a lot in this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and you should go watch this video right over here where we go over pandas group by functions.